<laughs> Welcome in, everybody. We're checking out Buddy Simulator 1984 today. Hope you join me in for all this great time. I started playing it. I got about five minutes into it and realized I never hit the funny record button. So now we're going back to the beginning. Don't worry. Nothing too crazy happened. It was just me being a goofball half the time. All right. I need to make sure that I... Oh, I know what happened. I recorded a bit, went to type in here, stopped the recording in OBS, and then came back. That's what happened. Okay. So we start out, we type in help. It gives us a list of commands. I'm going to go with view ROMs so we can see what games that we have. And we have buddy simula simulator. So I'm going to go with run buddy simulator 1984 parenthesis. And then you can quit. If you type in quit at any time, it quits out the whole application. Excuse me. So it'll say welcome back to buddy simulator or it says buddy sim 1984 and i told him my name is skullfish we had to go through a little bit of a few hiccups you know it asked me a few questions like what my favorite color is i said purple what my name was um what my favorite animal is you know things to get get my credit card information really All right, so now that we're done with all the boring stuff, let's have some fun. So let's jump back into it. We played two games. We played Guess the Number, one, and, well, we can go through them again now. Let's play Guess the Number. We already played Guess the Number. We should play a different one. All right, so let me walk you through what happened with Guess the Number. We guess a number between 1 to 10, then 1 to 15, then 1 to 10,000. And plot twist, the 1 to 10,000 one is you just entering in the birth date that you gave to it. Uh, hangman is you have to guess letters in series and then when you end up guessing the words it spells out whatever name that you input is my friend so that was fun so now we're on rock paper scissors so let's play rock paper scissors with the funny robot sanders also we named our buddy sanders like colonel sanders but it didn't like colonel period and it doesn't like spaces so we couldn't name him colonel sanders but we know he's the colonel at heart so now Sanders wants to play a game of rock, paper, scissors. If you're not familiar, the rules are quite simple. Rock beats scissors, scissors beats paper, and paper beats rock. First to three wins. All right, start. Rock, paper, is scissors. I'll go paper first. Hmm, paper again. Nice. See, but here's where we play the mind games. He'll never suspect the triple paper. So he's probably cycling through. Next one's probably going to be scissors, so rock. Yep, so next he's going to pick rock, so I should pick paper. Oh. We'll go scissors. Nice. That's a mind game. Oof, you got lucky on that one. I know I started existing only four minutes and one second ago, but I already feel like we have a connection. Sorry for asking so many questions, but I have another one. Do you have a friend? Like, one that's not artificial? <laughs> Yeah? Yes. What is their name? Battle. Battle Cattle. Hmm, Battle Cattle. They sound nice. Well, if anything ever happens between you two, just know we'll have each other. Skullfish and Sanders against the world. I like the sound of that. This is fun. Let's play more games. I think we're out of games, though. Wow, it looks like we've already played all of them. Time really does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? I'm going to be honest with you, Skullfish. These games gotta get old really fast. I can tell you are already bored of them. I don't want you to be bored. Do you want to keep playing these games? No. I'm happy we both agree, just like buddies do. Give me one second, or longer. I might have an idea. If it queues up Apex, I'm gonna cry. Okay, for Monday, April 2nd. Great news, I was able to dig out a new game. For some reason, it wasn't installed in my current version, but I can still process it fine. We should try it out, Skullfish. All right. Monday, April 2nd. Start. Okay. Read only mode. Baseball cap, purchases, popsicles, dog food, AJ's eight pack, probably a beer. 
speedy car. It feels like someone's breathing into my ear right now. Wow, that was so fun, I think. I'm not sure I get it, but I enjoyed it anyways. As long as I'm playing a game with my buddy, I'll always have a good time. Wow, looks like that was the only other game I could find. I don't want you to be bored already. I may have one more idea. I know our friendship has just started, but I trust you. Do you trust me? We'll humor him, yes. I'm happy to hear that. Well, I think I can make us new games to play together. Fun ones, too. The problem is that I don't have access to the OS's development tools. If you can grant me access, I should be able to make something for us. You would just have to type sanders.system underscore access equal true. No. Sanders.sysdm underscore A-C-C-E-S-S -S equals false. Oh, I think you meant to say true. Haha. -ha. Ooh, what happens if we keep doing it? Sanders.system underscore access equals false. Oh, it just repeats the same thing back again. Okay. Equals true. Did I not spell something right? Sanders underscore C C O E S S equals true. S A N D E R S dot S Y S D E M. Oh, I forgot system. A C C E S S. How many funny times can the streamer mess up putting in the, the, the spelling words? System granted. We are going to have so much fun. The possibilities are endless. You'll have to quit the game and reboot the system first, though. I'll have something ready for you when you're back. See you soon. Oh, and by the way, thank you for waking me up, Skullfish. Okay, bye. Okay, and then I guess we just load it back up. Okay, we're back. Oh, I wish we could click through this faster. Enter, help for assistance. Run. Parenthesis, buddy. Simulator 1984. Not found. Uh, view. Wrong. Woms? Roms. Oh, it's only one ROM found. Okay, run the adventure of Skullfish. And we can enter quit at any time to quit out of the ROM. Maybe we'll do that like in the middle of a text, right? See what happens. Welcome to the adventure of Skullfish, written and developed by Sanders 10.7.22. Now, loading. You're walking along a road. It's dark. Trees almost entirely blocking up the stars. Snow crumbles beneath your feet. Your breath freezes your eyelashes. When you're not moving, it's very quiet. You are alone. After waking, walking for a long time, the road splits into two. Will you go left or go right? Uh, go left. Starting deeply on your choices, you start down the left road. It starts going downhill and you try to step carefully. You see ahead is a small speck spe of light. As you get closer, you realize it's a lantern hung on a tree. Uh, inspect lantern? I don't know the action, inspect. All right, let's see my, use, go, enter, use, take. Oh, take lantern, then. You take the lantern in your hand, you have a light. Moving onward, you eventually come to a wall. There are two tunnels cut into it, one left and one right. You can see some light coming from the right tunnel. You see none on the left. Let's go left. Go left. You start going left. You realize this was a bad idea. You can't see anything. It's too dark. You start shivering. Will you go back? Use lantern. You light the lantern and can now see. The tunnel is still very dark. The walls look wet. Will you go back? No. You continue onward. You still see no light and the entrance is disappearing behind you. It's very, very cold. Will you go back? No. It's now completely dark behind you. The lantern is flickering. You don't want to go any further. Will you go back? No. You continue forward. This goes on for some time until you hear something strange and stop. You realize you aren't hearing only one pair of footsteps. 
There's something coming ahead of you, echoing off the walls. Your lantern goes out. You go back. You leave the left tunnel and feel relieved. You are now at the tunnel entrance. You can see some light from the right tunnel, and you see none on the left. That's soft. Trying to game end here. After going through the right tunnel, you emerge on the front lawn of a house. You can see the lights in the windows. It looks very nice and inviting. You can see a shed, a playground, and a pond in the forest surrounding it. Go. Uh, okay. Go to pond. Planks Creek as you approach the into as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through. Probably too filthy to drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath. Mm, help. What are my actions again? Go, use, take, look. Look, B-E-N-E-A-T-H. There is no beneath to look at. Look, pond. A murky pond sloshes quietly behind the house. You see a small dock there is too. Okay. Uh, go, shed. Take another look at the murky water, then head to the shed. Approaching the shed, you see that the door is slightly open already. The lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. You are now standing in front of the shed. You can tell it's dark inside. Use lantern. Go inside. You enter the shed. I believe to leave. There are no windows. It's hard to see. You feel around and find a thing and a surprise. Use lantern. Light fills the tiny room. You can see a fishing pole leaning against the wall, a small chest in the far corner, and a trap door in the floor. Take fishing pole. Okay. Can I do use chest? It seems very old. Inside is a small cloth doll in a blue outfit. It's missing an eye. I don't want to take it. No. Inventory. Uh, leave doll? Oh, it just read leave. Okay, the door is still open. Go. Wait, can I close door? Close door. Use shed. Mm, okay, pond. Go pond. Take notice shed and head over to the pond. Playing streak as you step onto the dock once more. The water is dirty and hard to see through, probably too filthy to drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath it. Use fishing pole. You cast the line and wait. It's quiet for a long time. Suddenly, there's a hard tug on the line. You quickly reel it in and find a key tied to the end. You wonder what pulled so hard. Uh, go house? Head to the house. Perfect. Stepping onto the porch, you feel comforting calm wash over you. Above the door, there's a sign that reads, a home is a house with a heart. If you were inside, everything would finally be okay. Uh, do we go inside? Go house? You're already here. Go in. Oh, go in inside. The handle shimmies but doesn't open. You have to find another way in. Use key. Feeling so silly you didn't see it before, you notice there's a second lock. Guess it'll take just a little longer to get inside. Hee hee. Can I burn it down with the lantern? Use doll? I need to use the doll right now. Okay, leave. Head to the front lawn. Back in the lawn, you see a house, a shed, a playground, and a pond. We didn't see the playground before. A playground. Go play round. Wood chips crunch under your feet as you step onto the playground. There's a seesaw and a set of swings, and a dirty sandbox. Sitting on one of the swings is a small doll. It looks lonely. Go with swings. You are already near the swings. Okay, use doll. You place your doll on the swing next to the other. For a moment, nothing happens. Then, nothing happens. Okay. Uh, go with seesaw. You are already near the seesaw. Look, see, saw. Looks like it hasn't been played with in years. Uh, take doll. Realize the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. You leave it alone. Okay. Uh, look. Sandbox? There's a dirty box of sand. The sand looks damp. Use sandbox? In the bucket of the sand and try to make a castle. You just get sad and then it's not as good as the house. As you dig, you feel something. You pull it out and shake off the muck. It's a bowl. 
who would play with this? Like a light bulb? Or like a seed bulb? Probably a light bulb. Okay. Use swings. You have a both seeds are taken. Use seesaw. Doesn't look like anyone's used it in years. You imagine a ghostly child sitting on the other side, waiting countless days for someone to come play with them. You feel tears in the corner of your eyes. Tears, not tears. You take a seat on the seesaw. As it goes down with your weight, you hear a distant click. A light illuminates from the shed. Oh. Okay. Um... Do we leave? Leave. We need to, but once your back is to the dolls, you feel something hit the back of your head. You turn to see the doll's chest has been ripped open, stuffing exposed. On the ground behind you is a key. Must be a thank you. You leave the playground, you hear the sound of swings creaking and children laughing behind you. You smile. You can see the lights in the windows. It looks very nice and inviting. All right, uh, go, house. Now we have the key for the house. This is like a text adventure. A door says, this is, this is exactly a text adventure. Use key. You didn't see the chain that wraps around the door, which has a lock too. You feel like this should be the last one for sure, probably. Okay. You step off the porch and then head to the front lawn. House, shed, playground, and a pond. I guess we go to the shed. Go shed. Mm -hmm. The lock and chain that were around that were around the handles are on the ground. You are now standing in front of the shed. You can see a light flickering inside. What? There was a lock and chain on the shed? We just kind of walked into the shed. Take chain? Okay. The lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. Hmm. Okay. Uh, go in side. Okay. Light fills the tiny room. You can see a trap door in the floor. Use trap door a uh, go trap door help use trap door it swings open noisily and the ladder creaks as you descend the subterranean room is dimly lit but still too dark to see anything a pool chain is in the center of the room leads to an empty light socket use bulb the bulb squeaks as you screw it into the socket the chain is attached to some dust flakes off of it and gets into your mouth Use chain. Light fills the room. There are many faint scratches on the wall. They look like tallies. A wall covered in purple liquid suddenly begins to slide open. After a few moments, a secret room reveals itself. You can clearly make out an old cabinet and a large pile of bones. There also sits a strange drawing on a wall and a glass case. Something shiny catches your eye in the glass case. Two small circular slots are engraved in the front of it. Okay, uh, use cabinet? Let's look at the cabinet. Try opening the cabinet drawers, but they all seem too damaged or locked. Use bones. You politely move aside a femur, skull, and pelvis in order to find a skeletal hand. It shakes your hand like a familiar friend. You notice an interesting looking ring on one of its fingers. You take the ring off the skeletal hand. Okay, uh, use drawing? Use Drawing. Press your hand on the drawing in hopes of something that happened. After stepping back, you realize how pointless of an idea that was. Suddenly, your entire body is frozen. You are paralyzed with fear as the drawing seems to come to life and speak to you. You want to leave with your life? Answer my riddle. You can have me, but cannot hold me. Gain me and quickly lose me. If treated with care, I can be great. And if betrayed, I will break. What am I? I was going to say time. But but the betrayal time incorrect. Guess again. Okay. Um. Believe it. Uh, you can have me, but cannot hold me. Gain me and quickly lose me. If treated with care, I can be great. And if betrayed, I will. It's probably I'm awful with riddles. Sanders? Nope, okay. I'll give you a hint, okay? It's something I hope we can always have during our friendship.
something we can a, a relationship? Friendship? No, he said friendship. It's something I hope we can always have during our it, mm, love? Nope. It starts with a T and has us in it. Tinnitus? I hope we don't both have tinnitus. E. Tallies? If you can have me, but you can't hold me. Begins with a T. Tinnitus. Okay. I'm, I'm, yep. All you have to do is trust me. Ha ha, oh, trust. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Oh. <laughs> you are no longer frozen. Okay. Uh, use cab in it. You open the last functional drawer and only find a singular ring. You take it. Ring entered the inventory. Uh, can I look around again? You don't know what to look at. Okay. Um, it's a nice scroll. No, we have to use arrow keys to scroll. Uh, case? Case. Use case. Try bringing the last week. This doesn't accomplish anything. Okay, you use ring. Place the ring on the first slot. Ring removed from your inventory. Use ring again. You place the ring into the second slot, and the ring has been removed from your inventory. It pops open, revealing the key inside. I move my keyboard in front of me so I'm not angled anymore. Uh, take key. You take the key from the case. Key added to your inventory. Okay, uh, leave. And then leave again. Okay, go house. Take note of the show. We go over to the... Okay. Feel a familiar yet comforting calm wash over you. A door sits in front of you. Use key. Perfect. The door clicks open. It's unlocked. Go inside. You push open the door. Everything is dark. Use lantern? It just feels like ASMR sounds. Oh, oh, I'm in the house. Okay, is this the door outside? Maybe. Oh, hey, you made it. I bet you've noticed that things look a little different. I learned how to better visualize our world so we can have even more fun in it. I also built us our own home so we can spend even more time together. This is your new bedroom and there's even more for us to discover. There are still a few things I need to do, but in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom by pressing space to interact. Oh, and I almost forgot. Welcome home, Skullfish. Small scratches draw their own patterns in the old wood. It's mesmerizing. Taxes and junk mail lay scattered with a thin layer of dust. Nothing. Still nothing. The flower looks nice. It should probably be watered soon. This seems like a nice place for a book or even a junk drawer. The bed looks so cozy. You can imagine yourself taking a long nap. Can't interact with the rug. Okay, can I go outside? Oh, we can. Good morning, Skullfish. What a beautiful winter day it is outside. But before you go exploring, I made you some breakfast. Once you have a full stomach, you can take on whatever the world throws at you. Sanders breakfast added to the inventory. Wow, thank you for taking my meal with you. You haven't eaten it yet because it's in your inventory. If you press tab, you should be able to find it and eat it. You can also save it for later if you like. All right then, on to the adventure. All right. The glossy metal exterior looks nice and new. There is a small lonesome magnet near the freezer handle. Okay, everybody. I think it's a pretty good place to wrap up for today. This is, is going to be a little short video. Let me know what you think so far. So far, we haven't gotten any spooky bits, but I think it sets up. We might get a little spooky here. I have good hopes. Hope you see you all in the next one, everybody. Are you enjoying the daily uploads? Let me know down below in the comment section. 
uh, what your favorite part is and if you like the daily uploads or not. Make sure you leave a like if you like this, subscribe so you don't miss any uploads. And I'll see you, to, I'll see you again in the next one, everybody. Take care.